Although you cannot earn quite yet in Heroes of Mavia, you can actually get a pretty good head start on the entire ecosystem. The main way to earn in the game will be by crafting and buying NFTs through the use of Ruby. That is the little red gem thing you can see in the top right hand corner of your screen when you're on the Heroes of Mavia game. Don't forget, anyone can download Heroes of Mavia for free from the Google Play or App Stores. Now, you can already earn Ruby. Many of you might not realize that or might not really be focusing on it like you should. Simply attack a base every single day and you gain Ruby. It resets at midnight EST for three stars you get 20 ruby, for two stars you gain 10, but it caps out at 100 ruby per day. Now, attacking the bot bases also counts to gain ruby, so make sure that you're doing at least five attacks a day if you're going for three stars, or at least 10 if you're going for two stars on each given attack. However, this can take quite some time, so I'm gonna lay down a really good strategy that will help you understand how to go about attacking bases and really getting all of your daily ruby within about 20 to 30 minutes at the most, and even faster if you're really good at Heroes of Mavia, and I'm gonna teach you how to be that good. Now, it can take a little while to get three stars against bases. Either you need to use brutes, a lot of skyfires or things like that, especially at HQ4 and HQ5, um, and even strikers and marines can't really cut it on their own. There's a lot of effort you need to put in to make sure you three star a base. However, I recommend going for two stars because you can easily get away with it with even half of the units, but there are a few things you need to consider. You can two star most bases with 40 to 50 carefully placed marines, maybe a handful of strikers as well, and you can replenish them very, very quickly. Each of them takes about 10 seconds to produce, so 20 or 30 of them takes about two or three minutes, which is the same amount of time it takes you to actually go through and raid a base, meaning you can attack almost indefinitely. The problem is the enemy hero. If you don't take out the enemy hero efficiently, it will take out your entire army of marines without much of a second thought. Now, you can use your own hero to help eliminate it, but the problem is that your own hero, especially when you start leveling it up, takes a long time to recover. So you wanna make sure that your hero is helping to clean up and grab the two star without taking too much damage. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to wait a very long time before you can attack again. Some other rules to consider when you're attacking with Marines and Strikers and things like that are to avoid clumping them up for the Mortar so that it doesn't completely take you out. Myra can be used for janitor duty so she doesn't take as long to recover and try and pick off buildings that aren't protected by the turrets. If you really want to, you can also focus on bases that only have the town hall on the outside of the base so that you can guarantee that one star and place Marines and Strikers in such a way that they won't be focused down by mortars, ice towers, or even rocket towers and be able to grab a clean two stars with very little effort. Don't forget that every single day you miss ruby collection is essentially wasted earning potential. For example, if you were playing Mavia pretty consistently for 30 days straight, but you missed half of those days on getting all of your ruby, you're missing out on half of the money you could be earning in the next 60, 90 days or whenever they implement all of the earning mechanics. It is not far away now. Also, please don't forget to use my creator code down in the settings. It really helps support the channel. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Leave a comment down below if you have a different strategy that would work better. Other people can go and have a look at that and make up their own mind.